Welcome back. All right, today's career video, Miroslav Shaitan, because it's Christmas, so why not? So he's drafted 111th overall in 1993 by the Edmonton Oilers, a Slovakian-born player and one of the best Slovakian players to play in the National Hockey League. Uh, makes his debut for the Oilers in 95-96, plays 62 games that year, 18 goals, 17 assists for 35 points. So for Shaitan, pretty good debut, finishes 11th in, in voting for the Calder, so that's not bad, right? Uh, then with the Oilers again in 96-97, plays 64 games, 17 goals, 11 assists, 28 points. And then he's traded to the Buffalo Sabres in a trade that would be looked at as one of the most lopsided trades in history. Shaitan is traded to Buffalo in exchange for Craig Miller and Barry Moore. And if you're looking at that and thinking, who? Exactly. And for Shaitan, he goes to Buffalo and his play actually gets better. So in 12 games in Buffalo... Eight goals, two assists, ten points after the trade. In the playoffs, he adds no points in seven games. But in terms of Euler trades, it's a head-scratcher. It is a definite head-scratcher. I remember there being arguments about his defensive play, arguments about his speed. But still, you need guys that can put the puck in the net. So yes, 20-plus years ago, same arguments people are having now. Uh, 97, 98, 79 games played with Buffalo, 22 goals, 24 assists, 46 points. In the playoffs, in 14 games, he adds five goals, four assists for nine points. So, not bad. He's he's progressing. Uh, his points totals go up a little bit. His goals come down a little bit. But the following year, yeah, pretty good year. Uh, in 81 games, 40 goals, which is seventh overall that year, to go with 26 assists for 66 points. He was a, a shoot-first player at that point in his career. Uh, in the playoffs, he has three goals, five assists, eight points in 12 games. But 40 goals, not too bad. 99-2000 uh, and 81 games played, 33 goals, 34 assists for 67 points. Again, a consistent offensive player in the playoffs, five games, three goals, two assists, five points. Also played in the All-Star game that year. So, Shaitan All-Star jersey from 2000. Sure, sounds like fun. I don't have one. 2000-2001 uh, and 82 games, 29 goals, 33 assists for 62 points. So the, the goal scoring has come down, but still 29 goals in that era is good. Uh, this is, of course, the dead puck era where scoring was much harder to come by. In 13 playoff games, he had three goals, 10 assists, 13 points. And that would be the end of his playoffs with Buffalo. So in 98-99, they ended up going, of course, all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, by the time you reach 0102, things are kind of, you know, getting worse for Buffalo here. 0102, 82 games, 37 goals, which was ninth overall in the NHL that year. So he's a sniper. 36 assists and 73 points. 2002-2003 uh, plays 79 games, 26 goals, 49 assists for 75 points. So now the passing's really picked up. He goes to the All-Star game that year. It's the second and final All-Star game appearance. 2003-2004 uh, plays 82 games with the Sabres, 29 goals, 28 assists for 57 points. So the points have dropped off, and Buffalo opts not to resign him. You know, uh, so it's a 30 goal scorer, and they go, well, we're we're not going to resign him. And of course, that's the lockout wiped out season of 0405 that's in between. And on August 3rd of 2005, he signs as a free agent with the New York Islanders. With the Islanders in 82 games, he produces 35 goals, 31 assists, 66 points. All he did was goal score. All he did was produce at the NHL level. 2006-2007, 81 games, 27 goals, 32 assists, 59 points. In the playoffs, 5 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 points. 2007-2008, 80 games played with the Islanders, 16 goals, 25 assists, 41 points. So the offense drops off, right? And if you have a player who's, you know, people are talking about their speed and their defense, and then the offense drops off a bit, well, uh, he ends up going to market on July 30, signs with the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins coming off of losing in the uh, the, the Stanley Cup final in 08 against the Red Wings. And so 08-09, he plays 65 games with Pittsburgh, 17 goals, 19 assists, 36 points. In the playoffs, plays 17 games, a goal, 5 assists, 6 points, and gets a Stanley Cup ring that he almost didn't get. He almost didn't get that because during that season, he got waived by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, they sent him down to the AHL, meaning he cleared waivers. 29 other teams said, not interested. Uh, he then got recalled. At the time, there was recall waivers. So we all know about waivers. Now the guy gets waived to get sent down. He had to get waived being brought up as well. 
there were players who got stuck in the minors because a team didn't want to take a chance on recalling them. As an example, Jason LaBarbera, a goaltender for the LA Kings, playing really, really well in the AHL. They wanted to call him up, but they knew he wouldn't clear recall waivers because he was playing well. So Shaitan clears not only the waivers going down, but the waivers coming back up. So uh, fortunate for him that that took place because he gets a Stanley Cup ring with Pittsburgh. Uh, he doesn't sign with the team until January the following season on January 3rd. Uh, during the 09-10 season, he signs with the Boston Bruins. Uh, 38 games played with Boston, 9 goals, 5 assists for 14 points. In the playoffs, 13 games, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. That, of course, being the season that Boston had the 3-0 series lead on Philly, and then they didn't. So, he ends up going to the KHL and playing over there. He would retire, I believe it was 2014, he retires. Ends up playing 1,050 games in the NHL, 363 goals, 372 assists for 735 points. Very solid career overall. In the playoffs, 86 games, 21 goals, 33 assists, 54 points. He is 6th all-time in points by a Slovakian-born NHL player. He is 5th in goals among Slovakian-born NHL players. And it's an interesting career. And then the career outside the NHL, where he's representing Slovakia, uh, 2002, he gets gold at the World Championship, was also the MVP for that. 2000 and 2012, silver at the World Championship. And 2003, bronze at the World Championship. And Slovakia had been down in, in the lesser groups at the World Championships. He helps to bring them up and bring them up to that top group. And then they get the gold as well. So a hero to his countrymen. I would think that is still the case. And in the double IHF Hall of Fame, I believe as well. So uh, Miroslav Shaitan, a player that I, I think really became uh, uh, really popular with fans because, you know, the last name looks like Satan, but Shaitan. And honestly, he was a really good goal scorer, fun to watch. Uh, and this jersey is the one that I had to wear because if I wore anything else, there was going to be some people saying, that's not the jersey that Shaitan's known for wearing known for wearing and this was called the goat head back in the 90s i did see a comment going it's not a goat head it's a buffalo i know we called it the goat head but at any rate there you go the career of Miroslav shaitan a player who was in the nhl from 95 through 2010 as a pretty darn good goal scorer and so scoring 363 goals again remembering that most of this is the dead puck era dead puck starts in 97 96, 97, somewhere in that region, and then all the way through 2010, it's still technically the dead puck era, though scoring did come up a little bit coming out of the, the lockout wiped out 0304 because the NHL had to do something. But even when the offense was being suppressed by the really solid defensive systems and traps that were going around the NHL, he was still able to score goals. So in today's game, I think he would have easily scored 400. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And of course, he played in the 80s. He would have had over 400 too. Let's be clear on that. But hey, let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.